here we are in folder number 16 in the index.html file, which is just a copy of 15's index final HTML. Here we are going to get started. We have our const gif box and const gif grid. Once our applications start to use multiple components, we have gif box, gif grid, and we have a couple different things moving around, it makes sense to start organizing things into different files. Let's open up the sidebar and see how we can organize these things a little bit better. We can create a new folder called JS. And inside of that, we create a new folder called components. And then here, we can create a new component and we can call this gifgrid.js and a new one for gifbox.js. And then all we have to do is copy the gifgrid, paste that here and the same for gift box. Paste that here. And all we have to do is at the top of our file, where is our view? We didn't even use Axios, but we would do script source is equal to JS components and gif grid and gif box. Now notice order does matter here. Since we're showing gif box first and gif grid is actually dependent on gif box, this would have to go above gif grid. Now that's a limitation of doing things this way. There's a definitely a better way to do all of these imports and we'll show that off. We'll be using ES6 imports. And the reason you can do that, there's a bunch of different benefits. One, it's future-proof, it's ES6. And two, you don't have to run into this, oh, did I load them in the correct order? Is one going to break the other if it's not loaded? That problem goes away as well, which is really cool. So this is a quick organization tactic. We have JS components, GIF box, GIF grid. Then we go down here, we're using components, GIF grid. For simpler applications like this, where you're just binding to a quick div and just doing some quick work, I would recommend this is okay to use. This is totally fine, but just make sure you know the order that you're importing things and know that when you pass this off to other devs, you may need to explain that specific order thing to them. Now that doesn't really bode well for scalability, but for small applications, totally fine, especially if it's only a couple different things that you're using as far as scripts. But down here now we have very clean script tags. We have our GIF grid and it's really easy to trace the flow of this view instance of this view application, right? We can say view, look, we are binding to this div with an ID of app. We have one component, the GIF grid. We have a couple data things. We have our methods and on created, we're just going to fetch trending GIFs. You can really trace how this view application works. And I love that so much. Now we're getting to the end of this course, but there's a couple other things I want to focus on as far as where to go in the future and building out your view instance applications. So that's it for a little bit of a quick organization lesson, just moving things around into different script tags and loading them up.